Hey guys, so I just got my modded controller from GamingMods.com and I've been super excited to get this controller and because of how excited I am, I wanted to do an unboxing video of it. So I'm really excited to show this off and give you guys my review on it and what I think of it. So let's get right into it. So what I really like about this is that this comes with uh, the box, but this particularly only comes in when you order the pre-built service, which basically means that they already have the controller and then they just mod it at their warehouse for you. The other service you can get is if they send you the parts for the modded controller. And because of how lazy I am, of course, I did the pre-built service. That's probably why it came in this case, but that's what I really like about it. So, pretty nifty, and hopefully they do have batteries included. If not, that's fine. I have my own. So, yeah. So, basically, you get the case that the Xbox One controller already comes with. So, let's take a look. Oh, this fell down. <laughs> so, get rid of that. And, oh, man. This looks fucking badass. Oh, that looks really nice. Like, I don't even know if the video will do it justice because in person this thing just looks really professionally made. So this is the blue circuit hydro dipped paint and you've got some uh, clear thumbsticks here and then you have a chrome silver d-pad as well as the chrome silver buttons so that's really nice. And then you got the LBRB and I really like this right here as well, these uh, blue chrome triggers. That looks really, really awesome. And of course I wanted to make sure that it matched up with the rest of the controller. It just looks super professional. Like I'm really, really impressed. These guys are legit and they definitely do a great job. I mean, just super, super detailed. Really loving this. I can kind of feel like the paint still freshening on it, but you know, it should be fine. I have another controller which I'll show you guys here in a second, but after you know using that same controller and everything for a while, there wasn't really like any smearing or anything like that, so you're perfectly fine and ready to go to use this right away. But at first you can kind of feel that it feels like it's it's still freshening up a bit, but I mean as you guys can see here, no fingerprints, anything, no smears or anything like that. It's really professionally made, I'm really liking this. This also comes with the Juggernaut Rapid Fire mod, which is supposedly Gaming Mod's best type of rapid fire mod controller that you can possibly get. It comes with all these different types of rapid fire mods you can get for it, which I'm not sure the exact way you do it, but it's probably going to be included either somewhere in here or probably on their website. But basically I know the gist of it is some of the things you have to do is hold the triggers in and then press the D-pad in a certain fashion, but that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to pull off, but it comes with all these different types of modes, like the burst fire mode, the crouch and fire mode, etc. They've got all kinds of different modes on their website. I'll probably just give a link to that in the description, but I'm really liking this. It's really professional, and then they give you this card, basically. So. If you need instructions, basically, yeah, there you go. That's where you go to right here to get the, basically all the button instructions for the rapid fire mods because the Juggernaut mod comes with so many, hence why it's called Juggernaut mod. And yeah, yeah they included batteries. So let me go ahead and get these out real quick because I want to show you guys what it looks like when it's turned on. All right, let's put these batteries in this bad boy. I like that. So they have a little sticker right here next to the where the battery pack is. So let's see. Minus and plus, minus and plus. Cool beans. But yeah, for some reason this other website I went to, I can't remember the exact name, but for some reason, whenever you choose to do a color painting of the entire controller, they don't do the battery pack as well, which is weird, but I'm really happy with this website does as well. They do the entire thing with the exception of of course the triggers and the buttons as well. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like when I turn it on. And look at that. Blue LED, of course. Blue is my favorite color, so obviously I wanted it to be blue. But that just looks really, really sick. So this is the PS4 controller I got from them. It's not going to be as customized as this, because this one is, I got it basically back when 
the PS4 just first came out, so they didn't have a whole lot of options to build it. So, of course, it's going to have the uh, hydro jet paint on it, as well as the, these colored buttons here. But at the time, they didn't have options for the thumbsticks or the D-pad, as well as the trigger buttons. But it still looks really professionally made. And um, this is just the way the PS4 is designed, like this different material back here. You can customize this, but at well, you can customize it now, but at the time when I got this, they didn't offer this option, but now they do, which is nice, so if you want, you could get the entire controller with this paint if you wanted to, and I believe you can also change the lights on this as well, and at first, of course, they didn't offer that option, so I just left it, but the, the main changes I got to this is uh, the coloring of the controller itself, that's the bulk of it. Um, and this one doesn't have any rapid mods either because at the time again they didn't have that but now they do But just from the looks of how the controller is itself you can really see that it's professionally made I'm really impressed by what these guys can get done. So I mean if you look at these right here I mean they just look kick fucking ass. That's professional. I recommend them absolutely Like I said, I definitely recommend checking out their website. They got all kinds of pre-built controllers as well as you can create your own, which I created my own for this, so I definitely recommend them. As for rating, I give this two joysticks out of two. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, you can check out their website. I'm sure they can answer any questions you have. And I'm definitely going to try this controller out, and yeah, I'm excited to use it. Till then, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.